you want to get a grade nine on your GCSE physics this year, then you need to be doing this. So even though you're gonna be getting the physics equation sheet and all the equations for your exam, that does not necessarily mean easy marks because everybody's gonna have it. So the key is to make sure you familiarize yourself with it way before your exam and know how to use it. The more familiar with it you are, the faster you're gonna be able to locate the equation you want and you're gonna save precious minutes in that exam. It's incredible how many students don't actually use this equation sheet until their GCSE. So use this process when you're doing a calculation question to make sure you get the right equation. So highlight or underline any questions with their units that you've been given in the question. Then look at what the question is actually asking you to calculate. So in this case, it's mass. Next, scan the equation sheet for the formula that links the quantities you've been given, so density, mass and volume. Write down your equation and then rearrange if necessary. A good way of knowing if you need to rearrange is by looking at how many marks the question is. For a three mark calculation question, you usually have got to rearrange the equation. Plug your numbers in, get your answer and remember show every step of your working out. Remember, some quantities like mass are going to appear in more than one equation on that equation sheet. So it's really easy to pick the wrong one. So you've got to make sure you're matching all the quantities in the question. If you follow this method, you'll always pick the right equation, which is one step closer to you getting that grade nine. Follow Save My Exams for more exam related tips.